and the action which was called the Battle of Britain was relentless. It was done till dusk. We saw them off, got busy and get things all ready for them coming back, counting them as they came in. And of course, now and again there was a few missing. Growing up, it was all I wanted to do. My dad had been in the army, and just kind of decided that's what I wanted to do when I was quite young. An accident overseas left James with a knee injury and a medical discharge. You're trying to get her in the fact that you've got a disability. Um, so she's kind of pretty much stuck in the house. Um, I got put in touch with Erskine. Um, when I came down, I ended up doing like one day a week, just volunteering. Just to kind of try and keep a bit of sanity and get out of the house and do something. Myself and one of their guys in the garden centre are actually doing the, the West Island Way. Something a, a year ago, been out hardly getting up a set of stairs um, to doing this now and raise a bit of money for Erskine so that in the future they can maybe help, have the funds to help somebody else that's in the, the same situation as I was in. In 2007, World War II veteran Joe began losing his sight. I was sitting in God's waiting room, my life was over. I was feeling my life was over. You're useless. All the things you could do, you can't do now. Now a resident at Erskine, Joe's social life is busier than ever. I'm living. I'm happy to live in. They'll all come and got a little laughs. Last night we were at the tattoo in Edinburgh. A fantastic day. I think we laughed all the way in the bus went over and laughed all the way back. I'm not sitting waiting in the waiting room anymore. I'm living again. Erskine cares for over 1,350 veterans every year, with five care homes across Scotland and five social firms providing employment and training. The new supported transition project for vulnerable veterans provides help with welfare, training and accommodation as they readjust to civilian life. We give them small goals to achieve and they go out, they've now got something to do. There's still somebody here like myself assisting and helping them, however they are now starting to do things for themselves but a positive way. Sadly, war isn't a thing of the past. For every soldier killed in action in Afghanistan and Iraq, seven more soldiers return from the front line injured. can be quite horrific, some of the things you need to go through. You cope with it, being able to know that you will be looked after if things do happen to you. If you do, God forbid, get injured on the front line or anything, there's always something there, somebody's there that's going to help you. Erskine cares. Will you? Erskine gave me my life back. I owe a tremendous debt which will never be repaid. <laughs>